Hey guys, Saki here from Saki Tech, and in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the Samsung One UI, which runs Android Pie. Now, this one is going to be on the Samsung Galaxy S9. I did make a video for the S9 Plus, so if you want to watch that, you can go watch that one. Uh, but if you do own a Samsung Galaxy S9 and want to see exactly how things look like over here, uh, let's dive in and do a full overview of the Samsung One UI. So I do want to start with the notifications panel. So if you pull down the notifications panel, uh, you get the quick toggles as usual. Uh, but if you pull it down one more time, the toggles actually come towards you. So that is one of the big features of, of Samsung uh, One UI. Uh, they want to make sure that you're able to use most of the core functions of the phone uh, with just one hand. All right. So even if you go to the messages, you're going to see that the um, title is going to be on the top over here and the message is going to be pulled down towards you so they're going to be easier to actually uh, operate and again if you go to the settings as well uh, again if you pull it down everything comes towards you okay so initially it might look like this but you have the option to pull things down and bring them towards your uh, thumb if you're using the phone with one hand now if you go to the display again or any other setting over here it's going to give you the same uh let me just exit this for a minute cancel uh, any other function over here like this one it's gonna look like the old uh, setting screen but if you pull it down again it comes towards you okay so that's one of the features uh, it's easier access to the settings so the core functions of the phone another thing to look at is if you do go to the control panel and if you pull it down uh, you'll see that the brightness slider is now all the way at the bottom so that's very easy to control the brightness of your smartphone and of course you also have a search bar over here if you tap on that search bar it allows you to search the entire phone now normally you come over here into the uh, apps and tap over here to search the phone but with this uh, functionality you can pull this down just like that boom and you can search the entire phone no problem other things you have in the panel are the uh, if you tap on this arrow you can show the control of the brightness on top but then there's something new here these are old things we have them on the current s9s as well but this one here if you tap on the details it takes you into the brightness, uh, I'm sorry, the display settings, the display menu of the phone to make additional modifications. And then, of course, here we have this button here. You can change the button order. All these are standard, but I just want you guys to see uh, the new version, the new look on the phone. So I can click down. I can tap it again. I can change the button grid from 4x3 to 3x3. Now we got 3x3. And then we have a status bar modifications we can perform here. Hide the battery percentage meter or increase it. And also uh, decide to show notifications on the top here. Uh, you can go from three notifications on the top to all notifications or just turn them off completely. Okay. So again, this is a newer layout, uh, even though these options are present on the older S9 variants as well. And of course, one of the big things is the uh, night mode. So if I go to the settings, if I go to the display, we now have the night mode. If I enable the night mode, everything goes uh, black and white. So it's going to be easy on the eyes at night time. You can go into the night mode and uh, you can actually uh, make some extra modifications. I'm sure there's going to have there are going to be more things going on uh, right now. It's a beta, so you don't have all the options, but looks like the night mode is going to be available to be scheduled. So you can schedule it to kick in uh, maybe 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. for the next morning. Alrighty. But of course, that option is not here yet, even though if you read over here, it does say uh, that's going to be an option. And of course, if you do turn on the night mode, everything go goes black and white. So if I pull down the panel, boom, black and white. Okay, very nice and easy. Uh, you go to the messages, black and white. You go to the phone, it's going to be black and white. Uh, anywhere you go, uh, anything that's uh, Samsung's core functions are going to be black and white. It's not going to reflect on the actual apps that you download. All right. So let's go to the back to the settings. Just enable the um, disable it for better visibility for the video. And let's look at some of the other things. Now, if I go into the uh, lock screen, there's also some changes over there. So let's there we go. So new clock style. Uh, we have this. You can access the phone just like this or you can access the camera just like that, okay? So those, those are easy accesses. And the uh, other thing is if you tap on the recent ski, we have the new uh, styling over here, as you can see. Now, if you tap on this guy, on top of every application, you have the capacity to tap on the icon of that app and gives you more information. You can get app info. So if I tap this, it takes me to the app info. 
If I tap this over here, I can lock this app. Uh, let me go to the app that has more options. So if I tap this, I can do a pop-up window. So that's a pop-up window. And also I can go back here. Uh, let's uh, go back to the settings for a second. Let's just do it like that. So I can tap this again, tap this, and I can do a split screen multitasking view. So I can go like this, okay? If I tap it again, exit out. So that uh, icon is going to be on top of every application. It's going to be using the app's particular icon to access it. And you're going to have those settings. And uh, this is also the new Android Pie style uh, recent menu, all right? As you can see, very smooth. That's the home button. Now let me show you the navigation bar. If you go to the display, and if you scroll down uh, to the navigation bar, you have a bunch of options. You have the regular navigation, so you got the back, home, recents. You can change these, uh, the order of the button, so the back goes over here, recent comes here, and home button. I like it this way. But then you can go to the full screen gesture mode, all right? Now with this one, you still have back, home, and recents here, but to access them, you just swipe up. So if I want to go home, I swipe up. If I want to go back, I swipe up from the left corner. If I want to bring up the recents, um, you go like this. You swipe up from the right corner, okay? And they're all over here, just like that. Now, again, let me show you how to go back. So we came from here. Let's go back in. Let's just go back. Now, that takes you back uh, without the button. So it's nice to have it, but I do prefer physical buttons. I'm going to keep it like that. And then the other thing I want to show you guys really quick is the uh, Bixby. The next thing I'm going to show you guys is the new Bixby layout. So if I scroll right over, again, you got Bixby over here. And as you can see, it's a little bit different looking. And I do have to let you know it's actually uh, considerably more smoother. So it's just gliding top to bottom. Okay. Now, that's not to say the Bixby right now on the S9 or the Note 9, is any there's any lag. It's just uh, optimized to feel like it's gliding from top to bottom in a more smooth fashion. All right. It's a software tweak, obviously. And uh, of course, if you go to the settings, uh, and if you go to the display, or I'm sorry, if you go to the lock screen uh, right over here, uh, you do have the option to pick a clock style. And let's just turn the always on display. Uh, when you tap on the clock style, you have the option to pick the always on display for the lock screen or the uh, always on display. So I can tap on lock screen, and I can pick these different various clock styles. And of course, even change the colors if I so desire and whatnot. And this is also uh, standard on the regular S S9s that we have right now. But if you do tap on clock style again and go to the always on display, uh, you can also pick different always on display tactics. Now with the always on display, there's something I'm going to show you guys. But this one here, uh, always on display, if you scroll down and if you go to the display mode, tap to show option, which is fantastic. Now tap to show basically makes sure the always on display is off. But if you tap on the screen, it actually activates. So let me show you what that looks like. So let's turn off the phone for a second here. Right now, the phone is completely off. If I want to see the always on display, I just tap it once, glance at the information. And if I don't like it, I just uh, walk away and just turns off. Uh, but that's the tap to wake, okay? Of course, we still have uh, lots of customization. So with the, sometimes with new softwares, they take away the old functions. But again, if we go to the uh, home screen settings, you still have all these things that you can uh, modify the home screen with. Uh, for example, this thing that I really like, uh, which is a uh, quick open notification panel. So if this is disabled, you cannot pull down the notifications panel. But if it's enabled, uh, it's easy to pull it down. So things like that are going to stay with the Samsung UI. They're not going anywhere. And if I go back into the settings, you may have noticed that the device maintenance feature was not visible. They just changed the name of that to device care. So if I tap on device care, uh, it's going to go to the device maintenance screen. That's just like the old one. You can optimize it or whatever. You get tips on the top. And here's the battery over here. You can do uh, power modes, medium power savings, maximum power savings, high performance, whatever. So all these things are going to be here. You got the storage management functionality. You got the memory functionality. And of course, you've got the security if you want to install uh, some kind of uh, malware. The Samsung smartphones do come with these things, all right? But overall, again, you have everything that you need here. Things have just been cleaned up a little bit, and it's a nice and welcome change. Now, let's tap on advanced features. Again, all of these features are going to be here. Now, right now, some of them are missing because it's a beta, but they're going to be added uh, back into here soon, such as the video enhancers right here. 
I don't see the one-handed mode option, but that's going to be in there as well. Uh, as you can see over here, it is listed that it's going to be here. So over time, this uh, beta, this Android Pi Samsung One UI is going to be upgraded and more and more things are going to be added. It's going to get smoother. Uh, so far, uh, I've been playing with this. I didn't see any crashes, but it's definitely not perfect. But anyway, let me know how you guys feel. Drop your comments, thoughts, tantrums down below. And of course, subscribe to Saki Tech for constant updates on Samsung phones, other smartphones, tablets, and much more. All right, guys, for now, have a fantastic day.